Hey, air signs, welcome in. How are you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus reading for August 12th. As you know, uh, Jupiter went direct on August 11th. So that's kind of an amazing thing. And what I want to do today, and I think I might do for the rest of the week, and if you like it, tell me, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to pull individual cards for Gemini, for Libra, and for Aquarius in the extended. Uh, mostly around like what you can do. Okay, if you if you don't like the reading, if you think the storyline is like, oh, my God, that's scaring me, then in the extended, I will do some cards of what you can do. If you love the reading, also what you can do and maybe what you don't want to do. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this goes. It's a new idea. All right. So feel free to swap around the characters. Uh, this is a general reading. I love that Jupiter's gone direct, of course, because I'm a Sag, and that means things are moving forward. So let's see where we are. It did feel super stuck. I mean, for Ju 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 for Jupiter to be in retrograde and Mercury in retrograde, that really felt like some very hard energy to me. I don't know how you guys felt, but... So let's see the messages that are coming through for you for um, August 12th. Let's see where we go here. All right. I like it. Building blocks. I like that. That I mean, that's sort of a boring card, but <laughs> it's another boring card piece. But great, right? Like, clean it up. There's still some stuff that needs to go. There's still some stuff that needs to go so you can build on the next level. I feel like you have done a good job of building a foundation. Okay, you've d done a really nice job. There's a foundation here. You have something set. You know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, this is the time to build that platform. This is the time to be like, okay, I'm not going to stay in this career. I'm going to move off in this direction. I'm going to expand my side hustle. I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do to expand my uh, abundance. Um, I don't like that I am single, so I am going to actively seek out experiences and be in a place where there are more people i'm going to actively get out there i mean i'm not a huge internet dating fan but hey it works for a lot of people so this is really about you've set the stage you've set the stage for the next happening <laughs> for the next stage of your life okay and this really is, there was an ending to an old stage of life and there's a beginning to a new stage of life that's happening right now. Um, so we have just closed off 12 years, I think it was 12 years of the last um, part of your life and now this is a new chapter, babies, a new chapter. I'm a huge fan of new chapters, especially if you thought the old chapter was difficult. But you know what, And I, you know, I'm, as I'm sitting here saying that, I feel like there's a lot of grace and gratitude in the old um, phase of life, even if you know things didn't go the way you wanted them to, they went the way they needed to. So those people who are leaving your life, those experiences that are leaving your life, those um, hurts or pains or whatever, it's time to like make peace with that and you know say thank you. Another train whistle. Wow. <laughs> and just be like, you know what? Great effing teachers. Boy, the universe sends me some really good teachers, and I am honoring that. So let's see what's going on here. The trains follow me wherever I go. <laughs> I'm in Maine now. Normally you hear them in Connecticut. Now there's, what? I know, trains follow me wherever I go. Ah, five of swords underneath. Shh, I will finish putting out the layout. <laughs> <laughs> There's Saggy Energy, Seven of Cups. Could have been dealing with a Sag who's a little confused as to what's going on here. Fire Energy here. Wow. Okay. So, um, I feel like, um, I feel like if you, f if you feel taken advantage of by somebody, you're going to blast them. You're going to let them know. Okay. And I feel like this person might be confused by that. You might have been holding back and not really saying how you feel. Sort of like, I would never do that to somebody. So it's hard for me to imagine this person doing this. You know what I mean? Like if you, if you can't, you can only 
experience um uh, what's the word it's not empathy but like you can if you can't imagine you know doing something like robbing a bank okay if you can't imagine knocking over a liquor store if you can't imagine you know on purpose hit it, hurting another person if you can't imagine that it's hard to imagine someone doing that to you all right and so this is a card of being taken advantage of and i feel like this other person that you've been connected to could be a sag uh, temperance, seven of cups, five of wands. Um, they, um, they could be somebody who just sort of stood still. All right. I don't get the feeling that they wanted to take advantage of you, that they were evil or, nef or nefarious, or it was something that was, um, a very on purpose kind of, I'm just going to screw with you kind of thing. I don't think so. All right. Uh, but here's you. You know, you've been holding back and now you're like, I need to let you know that uh, I know, you know, it's like, I know now, right? I see you. I see what you're doing here. And what they're doing is they're basically, they're not coming toward you, but they're not also leaving, right? This is the person that dips in and out of your life. This is the person that you know, you just start moving out of the energy and you're dating somebody else. Like I said, you're getting out there and you're doing new things. You're dating other people and they call back, right? It's like, you know, I, I was almost out and you pulled me back in. That's what this person is. And so there has been some healing. I feel like there's been some healing for you and some healing for them. They're going through something weird. We'll look at that. King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. So I feel like the blast of the tower is going to result in something more balanced. It needed to happen, okay? This tower energy here. Justice, you betcha. Three of Wands, Page of Swords. Uh, could be through a text. You blast them, balance this out, tell them what your expectations have been and that hey i see i see that this is happening this is not okay not okay so um i feel like it might be through a text or something where you just go like boom you just it's like you're calling it you're calling it out you're like you know i i see you i know exactly what you're doing i know that you're just coming into my life and i, I don't think you're messing with me i don't think you're doing something on purpose because i think you're really effed up seven of cups five of wands they're very fantasy driven you know they, they really want things it's somebody who um and this is a quality of sag and i will you know uh raise my hand for this at, at some point whoopsie oops don't do that you're not the camera crazy um they really want this it's not about that it's just that they have no courage to take action on any of it because other people are in their way they're afraid um so they're just waiting they want the universe they're like this is the person who thinks that the uh, law of attraction works by just saying "Ooh, i want a million dollars and then still does the same stuff that keeps abundance away from them okay so they're not enjoy they're not joining with the universe to make things occur well to make to expand on the um way things can come into their life they're not opening up to those things they're just like oh i want a million dollars um but yeah i'm still going to go to that job that makes me feel very low vibe and so a million dollars is not going to show up for you okay you low vibe not happening i mean if you read about lottery winners the ones who don't change their habits the money goes away fast. They may win it, but ooh, what's up with that? They may win it, but then it disappears. Okay. So this is the same kind of situation here. This person wants love in their life. They're inviting that in. They've seen you. They know that you're awesome. Okay. And they're still resistant to it because it's going to mean change. There's fives here. All right. Peace is a five. It's 23. It's a five. Um, they need to make peace with whatever's going on in their life. If they, if they want to get together with you, they can't just say, oh, I want a relationship with you 
and then do nothing to make that happen. Okay? Because you're calling it out. You're like, nope. You're not doing anything. So you may say all this stuff, and I don't, and I don't, don't even feel like, I'm, I was going to say they talk a good game, but I don't even think it's that. I don't even think it's really, uh, it's not like malicious or anything. Um, I really don't think that, right? Ace of Wands. So there is going to be something new that comes out of this. Ace of Wands, Two of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands. So this person has stayed in their old situation out of fear, another five, um, fear of loss, Okay, they want to hold on to what they have, even though what they have kind of sucks. Um, they want to hold on to what they have, because what happens if you, you know, you're so awesome, what happens if you don't, you know, it doesn't work out? They want to live in the fantasy of how amazing it is, and they won't give themselves a chance to really see if this is going to work out, because there's a chance it won't. Okay? All right, so let's, let's do the extended. Like I said, I am going to pull some cards for um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individually, just to give you some sense for you, okay? If this if this um, resonates for you, link is below for you. Um, this is August 12th, I'll see you over there. Ah, where's my little cursor, there it is.